This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Loops and Random Numbers, Part 17. Multiple Choice Code Trace. Which line of code should be removed to make the program do what it's supposed to do? All right. A programmer wants to write a programmer wants to write a program, shocking, in which the turtle draws eight squares in a row while moving forward. The final result should look like this. That looks more like a column, but okay. Um, but something is wrong. The incorrect code is shown below. The pro programmer has attempted to write a function to draw a single square. Then he wrote, why is it he? Then she wrote, a, another function that attempts to call that function eight times. Mentally trace through the code and determine which line of code should be removed to make the program do what it's supposed to do. Okay, so let's mentally trace through this. Do you have your mental tracing hat on or pen? All right, draw eight squares. That calls this function. And now how many times does this run? Well, it runs eight times, right? Because it starts at i equals zero, i equals zero, it runs with i being equal to zero, hits the bottom, goes back to the top. i plus plus means i plus one, so zero plus one is one, and now it's going to run for its second time, right? When i equals one, because it run once when i equals zero, i will now equal two, three, four, and then i now equals seven, it runs again, hits the top, i plus one equals eight, eight is not less than eight, it's done running but it ran eight times because it ran once at zero. All right, so it runs eight times. We draw a squ square 25. What's that do? That calls this function, the size is 25. Oop, this is a four for probably four sides. Turn right each time. Okay. So that means we're gonna turn right four times. Oh, I think I see it. So we're going to turn right four times. So we're going to move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right. If we turn right four times, that's going to be a complete square, right? We're going to move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, move forward, and be right back where we started. And then we're going to drop, after we run draw a square, we're going to be right here, drop below, move forward 25. Okay, so now we're going to move forward one more time, but that's going to be retracing a side of our square, which I guess is fine, but then we're going to turn right, and we're going to just repeat that entire process. So I think we're only going to draw one square over and over and over again, all right? So what I am thinking is that we need to get rid of something in here. We want to draw the square, but if at the end of this we end exactly where we started, and we want to go up to draw the next line, I'm not sure if we should turn right again. We're supposed to be doing this mentally, all right? I have an idea. I want to show, though, what this is doing. I want to make sure we're understanding this. I wrote it out here, okay? I magic my way over to this screen. This is what our code does right now, okay? And this is the problem. I'm going to do this super slow. Okay, so now we're moving forward. That's one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. Then turn right. Now we're back through our loop. And we turn right and move forward. Okay, so drop below now. And we're repeating that final step. Because we end... The first time we end here... We then, so our function start, our code starts, our program starts, we run draw eight squares. We're going to draw it eight times. We drop into our loop, draw square 25. We run this code and we end up right back where we started. Once we're done running this function, we then run the code below it, move forward. So our turtle moves forward one side and then we turn right. Okay. If I'm turning right again, I hit the bottom. I loop back to the top, draw square 25. Okay, we run this function. Oh, look, I move forward. Well, I was now turned right this way, so I move forward and turn right again four times, and I retrace the whole thing. Okay, and so if I am turning right after moving forward, I think what I want to do at the very end, if I'm right here after the first square, 
if I just move forward and then hit the bottom and loop around and run draw a square, I should draw another whole square up here above it because I've moved forward one extra time. Let me see. Ta-da. All right, I'm going to magic my way back. Ah, hopefully. Yep. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. We need to get rid of this turn right. So mine is seven. If you didn't understand this, go start this video again. Don't just take my answer. That's a bad idea. You need to understand this. Otherwise, this course is going to get exceedingly difficult. Okay, let's keep going. 